guys, welcome to another edition of Dirt Fish in America. Today, we're at an 1890s to early 1900s site. I don't know much about it, it wasn't even on a map. But I've also got a really cool guest star with us today. His name's Jeff Miller, AKA the Bug Killer. He came all the way from Illinois to dig with us today. And so hopefully we find some cool stuff. Stay tuned. Check this out. He just found something awesome. What do you got? I don't know, some kind of shell. I'm not familiar with these. That is old, old, old. Looks like uh, 4570. Sure enough, guys, 4570. Boom. <laughs> there was something going on here. Check this out. It's like a suspender clasp or garter belt clasp or something like that. It's got a patent date of July 6th, 1875. This was a really good signal. I think I got a coin. Coin. No. Yep. Coin. Oh, it's not a coin. Son of a. Token. Levi button. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dang it. Ah. You called it. Ah. <laughs> Another 4570? Yep, another 4570. If you guys know the date range on these, when they started and stopped making them, comment below, because I'd love to find out. I'm trying to be better about learning about ammunition. What'd you got? Oh, you know, we find them all the time. Uh, I don't know what that, that's made of, though. Maybe 10? Very nice. Number two. Here's kind of a fun time period piece. A uh, nice old pocket watch. Got some old rotten wood on it. Little patina action. Not exactly sure how old, but uh, I know those have been around quite a while. So I'm guessing that it's part of this structure that we've been picking at here for the last hour. And it's probably the same time period. Late 1800s, early 1900s. There's the other half of that pocket knife. Came out broken. But, uh, eh, got both halves. What the what? That does look like a harmonica. It is a harmonica. Honer. Honer. Yep, Honer harmonica. Been around forever. 1871, 1881. Dang, that's an old one. I've never found a piece like that. I always find like the inner reed part worth, you know, it's like long, rectangular, a bunch of slots in it. That is cool. Oh, it's got a piece of pottery in there too. I'm putting the picture together now. He was out here eating dinner, playing harmonica, dropped his harmonica, broke his plate, hot food fell in his lap. He threw the harmonica, everything was lost. And he had a gold coin in his hand. And he, and he had a gold coin. He what? Let's find, okay, here we go. The date looks like it's got writing on it and stars. August 28th, 187 fold. <laughs> it's cool, it's got the stars around the center there. Huh, we'll have to do some research on that. We were on the way home from the other spot, and we decided to stop and give it one more shot. Well, Jeff is here in town because he's got to leave tomorrow. So I took him to the field and uh, check it out. A little toe tap action. Tippity tappity, tippity tappity. Here's a fun find. A little button. Got some writing on it. Johnny Utah scoring some stuff with the dais. He's got a really nice variety Chinese coin here first one that we've seen come out of this place and it's smaller than the, the ones that we usually dig by far oh man get a little beard grease on that let me see that nice pole buddy that one acts like a roof on top of that and this character will always be on that side 
and that's the way the coin is meant to be read. Um, so we're gonna have to look up what kind of coin that is, apparently. That's fine, dude. Interesting. <laughs> Thanks you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done it already, please hit that like button and please also consider subscribing. Don't forget to turn your notifications on. We will see you next time. Dirtfish in America out. Mm -hmm.